his sahaba, his companions. Companions were killed in ways I cannot tell you. One of the first female companions to die, she died in a way I cannot tell you. Why? For la ilaha illallah. And you come to the park, and just because somebody insults the Prophet or draws a picture, you think you're like, yeah, I have to show the Izza. Yaki, do you think you're helping us? Today they were going to stop our dawah, pack up, go home. Why? Because of you. You're coming here and punching a deranged woman in the face, knocking her out, and you think you're doing a service. You think Allah's messenger. If he was here today, he would say to you, mashallah, very good. Wallahi, if you want to do, wallahi, I say this over and over again. A lot of Muslim men, they think they're bad. Oh yeah, I'll defend the deen, Aki. Anybody touches, I'll knock him out. Yeah. Bro, if you are ready to be a bad man for the deen, are you ready to be humiliated for the sake of Allah? Are you ready to be humiliated? What does that mean? There might be situations that you're going to be in that your blood, boil, uh, blood boils. Are you ready to be humiliated, ya Aki? If you know the deen of Allah is going to excel, knowing if, if somebody's going to come and slap you up, but you know that the deen of Allah is going to excel in your humiliation, would you do that? If you won't, wallahi, you're nothing. You're a weak man. The Prophet said, strong is not the man who can wrestle one another or uh, wrestle them down. Strong is the man that controls his anger. And you're here coming, some deranged woman is a maniac. And she's got problems, she comes in harassing us every single time. Ignore. Actually, if you've got anger problems, don't come to the park. Don't come and make it ruin the thing, uh, everything for us. Yes. Now what's going on? Christians are saying, religion or peace. Religion or peace. Yeah. Oh, this is Islam. Yeah. And this is what you've given them. You've just shown. Wallahi, I believe they have no problem. No problem. What you did, wallahi, they're happy. You know why? Because it's supposed to agenda. This is Islam. Yeah. That, for me, I'm going to give it to Dawood. For myself, please, brothers, if you've got anger problems, don't come. Don't come to the park. That's all I have to say. Assalamu yeah. alaikum, uh, brothers and sisters. Um, obviously, me and Ali, uh, over the weeks now, we've tried to build a, a bridge, a relationship with the Christians to tell them uh, that there's peace amongst us. Despite of, uh, despite of uh, Hatun's attacks every week, we know that Hatun does not represent all the Christians that are out there. We found out with that lady who came yes, Christian lady. Yes, the, the Christian lady who defended, ma she defended me against Hatun. Now, we saw, and I don't want to talk too much politics, but we saw what happened in Paris recently. And it's not the first time that this happens. Now, I understand that Muslims have love for the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But, do you have more love for the Prophet or do you have more love for Allah? Of course you love Allah more, isn't it? Now what does Allah say in the Quran? Allah says in the Quran, and if they insult me as an Allah, move away from the conversation and rejoin. Rejoin after they have finished insulting. Now this is now the Lord of the world who's talking and he's saying, if there is people who are insulting me, Allah, not as a me person, but as the Quran, it's the verse of the Quran, Allah says, leave the conversation. Leave the conversation and rejoin once they have stopped mocking. Now, brother, don't tell me, don't tell me that this religion and that verse, you will just ignore like that. Because the problem is this with people. I understand that you have love for this deen. But bro, this deen is not, it's not your father's deen. It does not belong to your father. It does not belong to your uncle. Okay? This is not something to do that is personally attached to you. The only anger that you have and that you expose is for, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is Allah telling us to leave the conversation when, when things go sour. Every week, what you brothers don't understand is this. Every week when we trying to build bridges and, and show what Islam actually is all, all about, you come here and you destroy it. And wallahi, I'm questioning a lot of your intentions while you come over here. I question your intentions. Is it for fame? Is it for like, uh, what? Trying to be a hero. What are you trying to be being a hero? A hero? We don't need heroes. Need hero, man. Islam is a deen that can speak for itself. And this is why me and Ali, every single week we talk about the deen is character. Wallahi, don't tell me how much you memorized. Don't tell me how much you know from the Quran. Don't tell me sect you, I'm Salafi, I'm, just, I'm not interested. If your character is crap, then your religion is not affecting what is within your soul. This is what Islam is all about. And, and there's countless of non-Muslims who every week, every year, 
for centuries now, for decades, miss this beautiful religion that I've come to, to understand that this religion functions only if your character is improving. If you say I'm a Muslim, and in your neighborhood, Wallahi, do you remember that attack that happened in Sri Lanka? Yeah. We went to the, the Christians. There was an old Christian lady, she came to me and says, yeah, yeah. I have a Muslim neighbor. He never says hello to me. He never, he, he never smiles. Yeah. Wallahi, what did the Prophet said? What did he say? He said, charity is, uh, smiling is a charity. When they used to describe the Prophet, they would say, I've never seen anyone more smile than him. But over here, we Muslims understand life is hard, understand we have to pay bills, understand that mental, you know, we struggle mentally much more. However, if you want to step in here, you better put the work in. You start reading. How many times do I see debates online? Ignoramious people who want to defend Islam. You don't know, you don't even know your religion. Put the work in, freaking out. Put the work in. Before you want to step in and, and defend the religion, put the work in and read. Secondly, uh, increase your manners. We had a beautiful brother here. We had a beautiful brother who passed away due to COVID-19. Isa Fiempong, that I have mercy on him. What a beautiful human being he was. When I was with him, wallahi, my, my character improved. My character improved. And that is what's gonna count, not the fist that you throw, bro. We're civilians here. There's no war going on, everything is good. Take a chill pill, bro. Everything is good. We're not in, there's no war going on here, yeah? I do apologize for the emotions, but wallahi, I had these feelings for years now. I see these ignoramus people coming on, on, on the camera, spitting, insulting, and then, and then, Assalamu alaikum, Allahu Akbar, shame on you. Yeah, yeah, wallahi, you know, shame on you. A minute ago, the guys punched this woman, yeah, who's, and then this brother shouting Allahu Akbar. Yaki, what the hell, why are you shouting Allahu Akbar for? I don't understand what life. You're doing a disservice to the religion. You're punching a woman. One life, shall I tell you something? I believe she is so happy that happened. You know yeah, why? Because yeah. that's an NCV now. Yeah, they punched me in the face. You know, now she's a hero, Marta. You know, subhanAllah. Now she's, wallahi, that is what they're looking for. Sorry, Baba, I can't hear you. I can't hear you, actually. I'm so sorry, I can't hear you. Maybe, maybe. The, 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 thing, the thing is this. You've just done a disservice. Don't go home thinking, yeah, mashallah, you see, wallahi, you did a disservice. And wallahi, I, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide you. It's simple Ameen, as that. Ameen. Don't come to the park. If you've got psychological problems, Aki, yeah, you've got problems, anger, you go to the boxing bag, go, go fight somebody, yeah, uh, subhanAllah, in the gym or something like that, subhanAllah. And that was it, subhanAllah. And what else can we say? This is not the Prophet's character, and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we know how he was, and what he went through. And subhanAllah, brothers and sisters, his own enemies will testify. His own enemies will testify to mm. his character, his adab. Mm. Can you imagine your own enemies? Giving their belongings, their gold and yeah. money for you to look after. Yeah. Your own enemy. Can you imagine your own enemy is saying you are a truthful man? They couldn't lie. They couldn't lie about him. They couldn't. They knew him to be the most truthful man. The best character. But as Muslims, we are too concerned about memorizing, memorizing this verse, that verse, so I can look intelli intelligent. That's it, brothers and sisters. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.